voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Why? 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 Capital Y! Why? 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 There's a lot of YouTubers that I subscribe to. I'll just name a few. Wardcorp666, The Amazing Atheist, Victor Zen, uh, Sparky Fister, uh, Colt of Dusty, Jacqueline Glenn, that guy, that transgender guy, I keep forgetting his name, but, you know, he's a guy who, you know, is a transgender woman, but, you know, he still sounds like a dude, so I'm really not sure if he's really a guy or a chick, but that's the side of the point. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, subscribe towards... Th that brave world uh, I and I recently subscribed to Spiz Triz um, and of course Steve Shives you know out of all the YouTubers who seem to act m the most mature in my opinion is Steve Shives he doesn't go over the top angry like any other YouTuber that I've ever seen. He keeps his cool, he comes up with the facts, he critiques multiple religions, especially Christianity, because, you know, that's what atheism is pretty much um, critiquing about, Christianity. And I agree with pretty much almost every point. He even critiqued atheism, and he's an atheist himself. So, I wonder... When? When will he ever critique feminism? When will I ever see him make a, a video entitled Five Reasons Why Feminism is Stupid? And I think I figured out why. Because if he did that, then the feminist community would probably want him to chop off his own balls and hang it up on the wall. But, I mean, that's just me, but... It's just a theory, right? Just a fucking theory. But I think this video that I'm responding to is it's basically makes me believe that this is why he doesn't critique or he doesn't critique feminism. Because I guess feminism is so perfect that it doesn't deserve to be critiqued. You know, it has no flaws or whatever. But hey, again, that's just me. <sighs> Steve Shives. I've been a long time subscriber. At least a good two years, I think. Maybe it's a year, but still. And when you made this video on The Breakfast Club, I think that's what it's called. My level of respect went from I truly do respect you into what the fuck has happened to you? Here's the fucking video. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday here at the Breakfast Club. I'm Steve. How's it going? Ah, that's right. Beer instead of coffee. The downward spiral begins. Um I had some thoughts about uh, a picture that a friend of mine shared on Facebook the other day. I'll show you the picture. It's this picture right here. It's taken from, uh, apparently taken from a sign on the LA Metro, and it reads, uh, Respect to our women passengers, please refrain from the following. Staring, masturbating, following, unwanted touching, unwanted conversation, asking women where they're from, and then the little fine print down there says, these actions create an unsafe space and contribute to violence against women. If you are unable to refrain from harassing other passengers, please change seats and notify the bus operator. 
So that's the image. It was shared by my friend Neely on uh, Facebook. And the first comment under the picture when she shared it was some dude asking, why does it say respect women passengers? Why doesn't it say respect all passengers? Uh, and it ties in very closely with uh, another commonly heard stupid question, uh, which is why do they call it feminism? If it's for gender equality, why do they call it feminism? Why doesn't it just refer to itself as humanism? And the reason I say that this is a stupid question is because it ignores the obviously apparent reality that you can see just by opening your eyes and observing the behavior and the traditions and the values and the customs of the culture that you are a fucking part of. Really? Because, um, I don't see it. I, I definitely don't see it. I mean, women have the right to vote. They can drive. Um, they can get jobs. Um, geez, I don't know. Women have it pretty goddamn good. Are you sure you open your fucking eyes? The reason why it's called feminism while advocating for gender equality is because females are the gender that are the underprivileged, underserved gender. You attain gender equality by advocating for the rights of the underprivileged gender. Do you see how this works? It's the same reason why we call it the gay rights movement. It's not because we think gay people deserve to be better than straight people. It's because gay people are in the inferior position and we want to raise them up to equality. That's how you attain equality. I actually have a point if women in America were truly and without a doubt oppressed. And I'm not talking about this stupid ideology, you know, where women, you know, uh, how do I put this? I've heard the wage gap argument millions of times. This is basically one of the feminist stronger, strongest point. The fucking wage gap argument, which I've already debunked and destroyed. If women were being paid less due to gender, then that's fine. That's a reason for needing feminism or, you know, fighting against this stupid system. But women and men do not work equally the average woman works two hours less than the average man that alone should pretty much show that there is a wage gap so there is no female oppression on america in third world countries you know where it's filled with religious biggest like islamics there, there you can focus on, on women. It, it, I mean, I believe it's Saudi Arabia where women can't drive because apparently it's part of religion or whatever. But I do not see the oppression here in America. In fact, if anything, women are far more privileged than men. And before you start attacking me with your sharp claws, let me give you a few facts. One, men have to go to war, not women. Two, women receive far, far less harsher, far, uh, excuse me, far less harsher punishments than that of a man. Three. In most cases, it's usually the women who win in a divorce court. Four, men have to pay for child support. Five, men are more likely to commit suicide than that of a woman. And six, men are just as likely to receive domestic violence than that of a woman. However, it's not taken as seriously. I just demonstrated a few things that pretty much it pretty much just shows that men don't necessarily have it easy either the reason why the sign on the bus on the metro says don't masturbate to female passengers is because female passengers are the ones who are made to feel unsafe by that behavior now i'm not saying that a female passenger on a metro has never just openly started masturbating to a man 
I don't want to say for sure that that's never happened, but I would guess that the the ratio is pretty lopsided. It's mostly men doing that to mostly women. That is the nature of the problem that the sign is meant to address. That's why it fucking says respect our women passengers, not respect all passengers. 85% of women are rape victims. Personally, I think that is an accurate statement because you know women are technically the physically weaker gender. So it does make sense. Although personally, it, it, it could be 75 and 80, and it would still make as much sense. But in any case, this is pretty... Are you trying to say that... This is basically saying that we should focus on that 85% because they're women. You know? And fuck the 15%. Fuck it. This is the same thing as doing this. This is basically special treatment towards women. And that is something that women are, I mean, not women, feminists are supposed to be against special treatment. <sighs> Rape is bad, regardless of whatever gender or whatever race or whatever sexuality. Rape is rape. Same thing with harassment. It's bad to do it on women, bad to do it on men, bad to do it on Asians, Jews, handicapped people, people with beards. Harassment is bad. Period. It shouldn't it shouldn't be do not harass women. Because then it's pretty much just sending the message, oh, you know, uh, you you can't do shit towards these women. But, you know, towards the men, fuck, you can do whatever the fuck you want. We won't punish you that harshly for doing any crime towards these men. No, no. You're, you're men. You're fucking men. But if you even think about looking at a woman wrong, you deserve to be fucked up in the ass. Like I said before, this is fucking special treatment which feminists are supposed to be against. But they ignore this special treatment and, you know, consider this equality. Harassment is wrong, regardless on whatever gender, whatever race, or whatever reason. That is why I believe that the sign just said respect all people because we're people. Not fucking monsters, you fucking imbecile! All right, have you got it? It's not an accusation that you personally are a rapist. So drop this hypersensitive defensiveness and either grow up and learn to accept the fact that we live in a society where there is gender inequality and where it disadvantages women and that that is a problem that needs to be addressed or toddle off to the men's rights movement subreddits and bitch and moan with the other guys who are upset at the unfair divorce settlement or because they never get to see their kids or because the girl they like won't go out with them. There's a place for you. It's called the men's rights movement. Straw manning much? It's a little bubble of misogyny on the internet that you can go and be with your own and when you ask them a question like why does it say respect our women passengers instead of respect all passengers oh you will have such a warm welcoming response they will not mistreat you and abuse you verbally the way I have just done they will love you and support you for everything that you are a, a deeply oppressed holder of a penis whose life has been ruined by these mean nasty women so I would suggest if you can't hold up in the real world where these problems really exist and where people feel the need to try and address them in real ways, put in your application for membership in the vaunted He-Man Women Haters Club and just be happier over there. That's my suggestion to you. If you look at a sign like that or if you look at the term feminism and you, you just can't understand why it refers specifically to women, go there. Go there. They want you. They will accept you. Personally, I have no use for you. Anyway, that's it for me. <laughs> On that happy note, uh, Serious Mind, you're up next, buddy.
So this is probably the part where I really lost respect for Steve Shives when he's referring the MRA as a bunch of he-man women haters. Oh, we gotta keep up the misogyny and all that shit. You know, <laughs> you know, you, you 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 got the MRA. You got it. You 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 done so much research on the MRA that you pretty much just destroy them. You know, there's no women in the MRA. Oh, wait a fucking minute. I just remember there's at least a few women on the MRA. And um, one of them is pretty popular. His name is Car Karen Star 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 Staringer. I think that's her name. Yeah, that one girl. I pretty much just agree with her. And I believe she's part of the MRA. And there are loads of women who oppose feminism. So, by your logic, these women who participate in the MRA, or at least go against feminism, is pretty much just hating their own fucking gender. Am I right? Now, I never considered myself as part of the MRA. Seeing that, you know, there are a few extremists in the MRA going as far as to say that marriage is some form of way to make men slaves towards women. And you know what? I'm like, that's just plain fucking crazy. I mean, this is something that some, that the Matrix would come up with. You know, take the red pill, take the red pill. You know, you're entering the world of reality where men are slaves and women are gods. And the funny thing is, I'm starting to believe in that crap. But aside from that, aside from a few bad MRA members, there's, there's at least a good few MRAs here and there. Mainly Karen Swartz, Swartz, whatever her name is. Links in the description, her YouTube account, if I can find it. But by comparison towards feminism, pretty much the MRAs are a bunch of angels and feminists are a bunch of fucking demons who do nothing more than dehumanize the male genitalia. And the funny thing is, is that you're supporting this bashing of the male genitalia. I know I pretty much sound like a conspiracist by now, but this is insanity. This is pure fucking insanity. Ugh. Oh dear lord. I'm sweating like a fucking pig. And, you know, I was going to apologize, you know, saying that you were a fucking moron, Steve Shives, that, you know, what I said was completely unprofessional, and I was going to say I'm sorry, but when you just completely dehumanize the MRA as just a bunch of fucking misogynists, just, you know, completely insulted them for being these bubble-living man-haters, these he-men, uh, anti-woman, whatever. I'm... I'm not sorry. No, I am not going to apologize. I don't care if I sound completely unprofessional because what you just said was stupid, irrational, and it really hurts. And I'm not even part of the MRA. I you know, agree with them, but I'm not a part of it. But you make me want to become a part of the MRA because more and more feminists are pretty much just brainwashing uh, stupid, stupid people into joining their fucking cult. So no, I am not going to apologize, you fucking imbecile. And you know what? 
I'm even questioning my own fucking faith. Like, is there really a God? Because I think feminists or feminism was made by the devil for women to take over the world. I'm actually starting to become this conspiracist. Yeah, thanks to you. But you know what, that's just, that's fine if you think I'm crazy, you know, I'm gone crazy. Because you know what, you're Steve Shives. You know, we, you know, opposing opinions towards yours. Now I'm talking kindergarten talk. But if we were to oppose your opinions, well, it's not really an opinion. It's just you shouting, screaming. <sighs> you're, you're right. You, I am no use to you because how is one simple YouTuber going to help you? Especially when he's against what you believe. I am the Atheist Gamer. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever the fuck. Peace the game out. This is sort of a follow-up video towards the video that I just made. Uh, if you want, you can stop the video now. You can go look at some porno, jack off, rub it off, whatever the fuck you want to do. But this is more of, you know, just a few things that I completely forgot to mention. And it's usually just, a, it's mostly about the sign itself. I'll get to Steve Shiv's in a little moment. Um, I apologize for the quality of the camera and where I am. But, you know, this this is this is just simply me just fucking talking. And, you know, I just had to change my outfit because I was sweating like a pig in that, in that other shirt. So, um, about the sign where it says, Respect our women passengers. Uh, the first one says, Staring. As, you know, if... I can understand that staring can creep someone out. And that's fine, but... It's just staring, okay? As long as I'm not doing anything to you, my eyes alone shouldn't hurt you. It might freak you out, sure, but you can't tell people to stop staring, okay? You might ask that person a question, but other than that, this guy is not doing anything wrong. If he's just staring at you. Masturbating, I can understand. But how many people out there would actually go on a train or a bus and actually start masturbating towards other women? I mean, those kind of people are just plain sick and not re just not well in the head. Following, I can also understand because, you know, it's just stalking someone. If, if you're going to stalk someone, that's just playing creepy but again unless you're stalking someone stalking someone home then I don't think it's really that harmful if it really does bother you you can go to the nearest um, police officer or police station and there he can't follow you in any deeper or confront the guy and either use a taser gun, pepper spray him, ask him questions, and whatever. Unwanted touching and unwanted conversation is also uh, pretty much fine, I can understand. It's, if I don't want to cop, you know, if um, nobody wants to be touched or have a conversation with you, then you have no business to be in it. But the last one really pisses me the fuck off. Asking women where they're from. I I, I, I I don't know what to say about this. Asking someone where they're from? You're, you people are act, acting like if, you know, if I ask the question, 
hey, where do you live? Because, you know, I want to know where exactly you, you you live so that way I can come down to your ho uh, at, at your house, knock on your door, break it down, rape you in your sleep, and then be on my merry way. If, if you know, if we're not allowed to say where you're from, then that's just plain fucking stupid. If I wanted to start a conversation and, you know, I'm kind of curious on where this person is from. Is that really that much of a big fucking deal? No, it isn't. It's just a simple way to, you know, ask where they're from. It's not like I'm asking their where exactly where they live. I'm talk not by address, not by postal code, whatever. I'm talking about the the state and and, 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 and and the country I mean is the bus driver going to stop all of a sudden just because you know he hears the word where you're from no it doesn't work like that let's see and then and then the last part the the, the bottom part where it says that if you can't control the actions, then please move to another cart and inform the bus driver or the operator, whatever. And I have to ask the simple question, what idiot is going to do that? If someone's going to stalk on a train or a bus, if someone's going to masturbate in public, why do you think they would think, oh, maybe I should stop what I'm doing and just tell the people, you tell the operator what I'm about to do because it's pretty much sick. I mean, I know there are some sick people out there, but these sick people aren't exactly stupid. <sighs> it amazes me that Steve Shives, or Shives, whatever his name is, would actually go this far as to defend something this stupid. It, if you're going to do make a sign like that, then do it for fucking both genders, not just one gender. It doesn't matter if one gender, if this is, you know, I'm sorry. This is just incredibly stupid. Let me just try this again. Let me just word it out. It doesn't matter if the oppression ratio is completely lopsided if it never happens towards a man even if it doesn't happen towards a man it should say that respect all passengers regardless I uh, recall that Steve um, that there's this one youtuber named Spike Yum uh, and he laid out a pretty well place response towards Steve Shev's video and you know Steve seeing that Steve Shives is probably mature and uh, respectful you think you think he would put out a lay you know just a nice response or at least a response deconstructing his argument no 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 no, 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 you, 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 you don't see that. No, instead, he, he basically do the exact same thing that every feminist do. Ha ha ha, you're wearing your fedora hat too fucking tight. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Sorry, I can't hear you from the sound of your tiny penis. Or something like that. I mean, wow. Wow, Steve Shives. I thought that you might actually redeem yourself at some point. You know, at least in the comment section. I think, I thought maybe you would actually do that. But instead, you acted like a total fucking asshole. And that really just nails the, just pretty much nails the last nail on the fucking coffin. Now, I really don't have respect for you. Because you... You, you don't bother to deconstruct anything, you know. You just use the exact same feminist tactic that pretty much almost every feminist has used. And I doubt, I 
fair, I am very doubtful that you're going to quote unquote debate someone over this topic because you know what, you're such a, a amazing guy. You're so perfect in every fucking way, you know? You shouldn't have to deal with this shit. I doubt that you would actually debate. But hey, maybe you might actually prove me wrong. Maybe you can actually debate someone on YouTube about this topic. Debate me, debate anyone on feminism. I fucking dare you. But I doubt that. I am very, very doubtful that Steve Shives is going to debate. I am the Atheist Gamer, and yes, this is the ending, okay? Like, like I said before, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.